Hey everyone, this is Gil. Welcome to my first unboxing of CGC Books. Uh, over the next uh, next few segments, hopefully I'm going to be getting more books, things that make you want to go ooh and ah, or ooh and ah. One of the two, hopefully it impresses you. Uh, if there's something you want to see me unbox, put some comments down below, write to me. Chances are I'm not going to be able to unbox them because I don't have those books, but if I do, cool. Stay tuned. Welcome back. Getting into the box. Ah, the first set of goodness. See, straight from the box, got to pull off the plastic. You know what always wonders me about CGC? They charge a lot and they give us the worst plastics I can ever find. You know, they could at least invest a couple more cents to give us real plastics. But that being said, this book, oh, the, uh, you know what, before I continue, these are uh, CGC signed books. Uh, the signing took place on uh, December uh, 3rd and 4th, I believe it was, uh, 2017 at Torpedo Comics. A shout out to my boys down there in Las Vegas, Rob, John, Gabe, uh, Will, and the beautiful Lauren. Thank you very much for making all this happen for us. Um, getting onto this book, this book is courtesy of my boy Dan McBride here in Calgary. He had me uh, send this one down, and it's a Thanos number 1398 signed by Donny Cates. This is a beautiful book. You know, I, I had a chance to, to actually take a look at it and read through it, and I'll tell you this, cover your ears if you don't like the words, but Thanos is a badass. Right off the, the get-go, I mean, I've never, seen, I've never seen a Mac like that before. Hats off to Donny Cates for turning Thanos into the badass he's supposed to be. On to the next one. Oh. You know, the, so the signings that we had down there in, uh, in Las Vegas, uh, it was uh, Greg Capullo, Scott Snyder on, uh, on the Saturday, and Mark Brooks and Donny Cates on the Sunday. So it was four people. It's like a mini convention going down there. This next one is Deadpool number 34, coming back at a 9.6, uh, signed by Mark Brooks, and it got remarked by him. I don't know if uh, you can see it, but it is awesome, the remark on this. Um, We had issues with it because it's a lenticular cover. For those of you who've never had a, a lenticular cover uh, signed on before, having the ink stay on it was really difficult. So let alone having a remark done to it uh, was twice as hard. Uh, it's a good thing that uh, Mark Brooks was able to do it for us. So it looks awesome. The next book is, oh, beautiful 9-8. Redneck number one, cover A, signed by Mr. Donny Cates. See, I, I like Redneck. Redneck, I think, is a, and you'll, you'll see that in this hall a little bit. Redneck, uh, how could it get any better? Redneck vampires. That's all need to be said. That, that's what sold me on the book in the first place. Oh, another one by... But Don, oh, you know what? They made a mistake on this. They really made a mistake on this. Oh no, they didn't. Sorry, I was looking at the wrong place. But uh, I got a God Country number one signed by Donny Cates coming back at a nine eight. Um, you know, I'm a little bit slow to jump on the the God Country uh, CG scene. Um, the man behind the the mic back here, Mark, he had his uh, CGC. I believe he was the first one in in Canada. I think who got his CGC. He flew down to uh, Seattle and got his book CGC there overnight. Um, his came back in a 9.8. I got mine, had to wait a little while, but mine signed and 9.8. Hat for that one. Let's see. Oh, you know, I'm pretty sure not very many of these ones came back on the CGC census. The Free Comic Book Day, Secret Empire number one, coming back at a 9.6 signed by Mark Brooks. The reason I'm saying not very many came back on the census is because I don't think, I think I'm the only one who had put this, uh, sent this one to CGC. Listen, if you're watching this and you have a CGC free comic book day secret empire, put a note down there. Let me know that you have, let, let me know I'm not alone. Let me know I'm not crazy. But uh, I actually do know a lady who bought the original art for this uh, down in Las Vegas. She spent a pretty penny and uh, that's going out to you, Sheila. Hopefully you're watching this. Um, it's a great book. I actually like it. Uh, one of the reasons I, I got it is because it, uh, it was the first appearance of the Tinkerer's Daughter, I, I believe. You know what? 
If it is, cool. If it isn't, whatever. It's a free comic book. Uh, moving on. We got Baby Teeth number one. Coming back at a 9.8. I believe this is the uh, cover B, the variant cover. Signed by, again, Donny Cates. Um, Baby Teeth was a great story. If, uh, if, every, if you guys have ever read a story called... Uh, Back then it was Chosen, then they changed the name to uh, American Jesus. The story is very similar to this. Um, it's, it's a great story. I, I encourage you guys to pick one up. In fact, uh, towards the end of this video, actually at the end of this video, I'll show you one more special thing. It, it doesn't get CG seed, but it's something I'm really happy to have. If we can uh, dig that one up. can't remember exactly where it is. Here we go. So I was talking to you guys about uh, how much I like redneck. Vampires, rednecks, they're awesome. So this is the silver foil one per store, thank you variant, remarked by Donny uh, Donnie Cates. You can see the remark down there. It's got a nice little picture of grandpa. Coming back at a 9.8 and I'm really happy with this. I was actually worried about this uh, when I looked at it. I wasn't sure if it'd come back at the 9.8, but it did. Makes me happy, love it. Okay. Next one is Batman number 50, the Amanda Connors uh, variant. This uh, came from Dynamic Forces. Coming back at a 9.6. Uh, I know I picked this one up at one of our local comic stores here. I uh, hate to Marianne, if you guys are watching this, thank you very much for this book. Having signed by uh, both uh, Capullo and Snyder just makes it that much more special. So we get to the, the meat of this haul. You guys, 9-8 uh, signed by Capullo and Snyder now. The cover looks somewhat familiar. This is uh, Dark, uh, sorry, it's, uh, yeah, Dark Knight Metal 3. But this is the Torpedo exclusive. Exclusive only to those people who shop at Torpedo Comics. Come, this is signed by both Capullo and Snyder. I forgot to get uh, John to sign this, so next time I'm down there, John, I'm going to have to get this one uh, done by you. Um, 9.8, only exclusive. I think they only made, uh, I think it's 3,000? They only made 3,000 of this, so uh, very rare. In fact, it's so rare, I had to get two. <laughs> and they both came back at a 9.8. Very happy about that. Uh, this is uh, this is actually quite disappointing. I mean, I, I love the cover, the grade I'm not too happy with. This is uh, Dark Knight's Metal number one, and it came back at an eight five. A little bit disappointed, but you know what? I still think this is a great cover. Uh, Wonder Woman looks great, signed by Capullo and Snyder. Here's uh, Dark Knight's Metal 2, the, uh, the Bulletproof uh, variant. Capullo, Snyder, 9.4. Now you're going to see me going a little bit heavy on the Dark Knight's Metal 2, and here's the reason why, and I'm jumping on my soapbox. Again, if you disagree with me, make the comments. I probably won't read it if you disagree with me, but make them anyway. I truly believe, and according to Scott Snyder himself, the first appearance of the Batman Who Laughs, Dark Knight's Metal 2. The market may say it's Teen Titans 12, but the market is not the one who wrote the book. Uh, this one's a fun one. Batman number 50. This is the faded cover. This is triple signed. I had it signed uh, earlier by, um, by Jim uh, back in May. May 19th, uh, 2017, and then this December just had uh, Snyder and Capullo signed it, came back at a 9.6. Really happy about this one because really I found this one in a dollar bin and it all worked out great. We got a Dark Knight's Metal number one at a 9.6. This is the KRS uh, variant. 
really, really nice. When I saw this one, it was actually at, uh, at the, the Winterfest here in Calgary that I, I saw this and I went, hey, you know what, this is kind of cool. I'm going to meet uh, both those guys. It would be great to have them to sign this. Reborn number one, and this is the, the McFarland variant. I, you know what, um, the market isn't really, this isn't in high demand in the market right now, but I believe, you know, if I can get um, Snyder to sign, and eventually, I mean, I live in Calgary, they already declared a Todd McFarland day here in Calgary. One day I'm gonna meet him, I'm gonna have him sign it, and this is gonna be something special, um, especially coming back at a 9-8. Couldn't expect anything better. And a Dark Knight's Metal 2, the Jim Lee variant. Um, coming back at 9-8. Capullo, Snyder signing it. And I will meet Jim Lee once again. I'll have him sign this. I'll have it triple signed. Awesome. Remember I said I was going to go hard on, uh, on Dark Knight's Metal. Here's the regular foil cover for Dark Knight's Metal 2. Uh, I did come back at a 9.6, but signed by both of them. It's wicked. Uh, this one, this one, I, I actually like this one. When I saw this in the store, I went, wow, this is kind of cool. So it's Superman Unchained, number one, come back at a 9.8, but it's the lenticular cover. And it's really awesome because when you have a really good look at it, I don't know if, I can, if you guys can see it, even the signature almost pops out as 3D. That's that's totally awesome. Um, again, Snyder signing it. I will meet Jim Lee again. I'm gonna have Jim sign this. And it's gonna be amazing. Now for the last book, this is my, uh, this is my personal favorite of the last books because um, one, two, three, four. I have four of the signatures. This is quadruple signed by the end of it. I will have at least six more or two more signatures put onto it. So it's Deathmate Black, the gold foil uh, variant. And it's signed by Portatio, by um, Jim Lee, by J. Scott Campbell, and by Greg Capullo. Uh, and thanks to Torpedo, I'm going to have a chance to have um, Silvestri and William sign this as well. So this is going to be one autograph filled book, and I'm excited for it. And that's it for my hauls for, for this trip, uh, my trip down to Torpedo Comics. All right, guys, here's the bonus book that I promise you. Now, I am totally excited about this. This is one of the rarest books I've ever owned, I've ever seen. I mean, this is probably more rare than a CGC 9.8 slapstick number one. Okay, this is how rare it is. This is Baby Teeth number one, the San Diego Convention exclusive there's only 25 in the world made of this this thing is made of goat skin goat skin who makes a comic book out of goat skin you know who does that freak donny cates does that guy's awesome and you know what when i when i got the opportunity to buy this wasn't even hesitation it's like yes i want it and now that i have it it kind of creeps me out if you guys have ever watched uh, evil dead it, it kind of looks like the ne Necronomicon, the little face on it. It's, it's creepy, but uh, I think it's awesome. Uh, I suggest the other 24 of you guys that are watching this, go and find the other 24, and then we could all be the club. We could be the Goat Skin Club. That's how awesome this book is. Well, guys, that's it for my haul for today. I want to thank each and every one of you guys for watching this. You know, do the positive stuff that down there. Hit notification, subscribe, uh, like, send donuts, whatever it is you guys have to do to have to, to throw some positive vibes my way. Um, you know what? From Saddle City Comics, if, if I have to tell you what it is, you actually probably just went on this YouTube video by accident. But we are from Saddle City Comics. Hopefully we're coming back to you in the next couple of days with brand new um brand new content we're gonna have some crazy wild stuff coming in we got my boy t over there with the road 200k we got haul videos man we we got a homage video coming out there are things that you know you wouldn't expect to see out of a out of a comic uh, youtube channel if there's anything you want to see us do 
comic related, make the comments down below and tell us what you want to see. Uh, if not, if you had fun, come back, tell your friends, tell your family, tell everyone you want. If you didn't have fun, you hated our video, shh, don't tell anyone. See you guys later.